I know you love it when I do these kind of videos where we talk about inexpensive or affordable or budget friendly fragrances call it whatever you want these fragrances are all under 30 bucks I know that's not affordable for everyone but I had to put a number I mean you have fragrances on this list that are like 12 bucks the whole point of putting the $30 is just so you know that it doesn't exceed $30 so it is my belief that you don't have to spend a whole lot of money on perfumes in order to smell good I know I know it's easy to think that way because that's what we all see on YouTube but I'm, I promise you you don't have to there's so many inexpensive or budget-friendly fragrances out there that smell so amazing and you get compliments on them I mean I'm proof that that is true because I'm gonna be honest I don't like to spend a whole lot of money on perfume it just doesn't feel right to me you know and it's just a personal choice if you want to you can but if you're not in the mood to spend like a whole lot of money on perfume you're in the right place because today i'm going to be showing you guys 10 beautiful everyday perfume that is no more than 30 bucks if you want to see my pics let's go welcome back and thank you so much for joining me as promised I have 10 affordable or budget-friendly fragrances that I'm gonna show you guys these are so amazing get your pens your pads get them ready okay and take some notes okay guys so coming up first is from a perfume house that I love very very much and it is Perry Ellis so this is from the 360 degrees series and this one is called white so of course, this is a flanker to the original 360 Degrees uh, fragrance that everybody knows and loves and hates. You know, it depends on <laughs> what side of the, the, the line you fall on. I happen to love that fragrance, but let me just put it out there. This fragrance has nothing to do with that, as are the other flankers. All those flankers that come out under this, this series have nothing to do with the original. They all have their own independent feel, vibe, and scent. So this fragrance to me is one one of the most unique from this series it smells totally different from anything I've ever smelled to be honest it's very unique and I'm not gonna lie the first time I smelled it I was like what the hell because of course for me this was a blind buy I just read the notes they sounded interesting it wasn't what I was expecting but it was definitely a nice surprise like I had to really allow this to grow on me so for the most part it's definitely a summery scent it just has that clean vibe to it but what I get most of all is like a white bar soap kind of smell. But of course, there are so many elements to this one. It's not just white bar soap. Like I said, it's fresh, it's spicy, it's woodsy, and it's very musky. So I like that about it. This fragrance opens up with green mandarin and paprika. In the heart, we have orange blossom and orchid. And in the base, we have amber, musk, and vanilla. What I do get from this fragrance, and it's so odd because it's not listed here in the notes is coconut i'm getting a very coconutty vibe and that's what i mean when i say that you have a lot of elements to this fragrance so you have that white bar soap scent then you have the spiciness then you have that coconutty smell then you have the woods and the musk so there's a lot going on it's a beautiful scent it's not going to be for everyone is it a fragrance that you should blind buy probably not but i know i can't stop you guys um, it is a nice scent and I think it is worth trying, but like I said, it's not safe to blind buy. Okay guys, so the next fragrance up is actually from the house of Armani and this one is from the Diamond series and this one is called Rose. So I found this one totally by mistake, it was a blind buy and I was not expecting much from it, but guys, I love this one. I wore this one to the office yesterday because I really wasn't sure what to wear and it's kind of that kind of fragrance. It's kind of this fragrance that you just throw on if you're not sure what to wear. It just had that kind of scent. It does put me in the mind of Bright Crystal by Versace, but to me this one is way better. You know how Bright Crystal has the tendency to be a little bit citrusy and of course we have the florals and the woods this one feels a little bit sweeter warmer this one opens up with raspberry black currants 
and bergamot. And in the heart, we have rose, freesia, lily of the valley. And in the base, we have ambrette and patchouli. So, of course, the dominant note in this one is definitely the rose. And I definitely get the black currant, which gives it a tinge of greenness. If you watch my channel, you know how much I appreciate a little bit of greenness. What I love the most about this scent is actually the base, the way it finishes off. It's not listed here in the notes, but you definitely get that woodsy, musky vibe. This is a perfect everyday kind of scent. It's the kind of fragrance that you could just easily throw on and go about your day. And that's what I love so much about this fragrance. This fragrance that I have coming up next is a fragrance that I experienced for the first time probably a year ago in Ulta. And let me tell you, I almost, I came this close to purchasing this fragrance at full price on the spot, which is so not my style. I like to wait for the craze to die down that I purchase these fragrances because, I mean, that's how I save my coin. So the fragrance I'm talking about comes out of the house of Calvin Klein and it is Calvin Klein Women. This is a fragrance that I can just appreciate. I mean, it was just love at first sniff. Because this is exactly what I love to smell like. It has its pros and cons and we're going to go through that because of course, you know, I have to tell you guys everything about what I know about these fragrances. It smells just like clean laundry. If you follow my channel, you know I love anything that smells like clean clothes, like soap, detergent, fabric softener. I like to smell like that and I know not everybody likes to smell that way but I have my days where I love to smell this way and I love to smell other people smelling this way. So I'm going to tell y'all something really funny about when I just met my husband. He doesn't know this and I don't suspect he's going to know it because I really doubt he gets this far into my videos. So when I just met my husband, I like the way like his clothes smell like that's what attracted me to him like the fact that he was so clean and he smelled like clean laundry one day i went by his house and i was in his bathroom and i was like trying to figure out what kind of detergent he used and i know that's so creepy but i love that kind of smell and i just didn't want to come out and ask him at the time because you know we were just getting to know each other and i didn't want him to know i was crazy but like i literally was in his little cupboards looking for his detergent to know what kind of detergent he used on his clothes it kind of smells like that that's how this smells to me it just smells like straight up clean laundry i mean that had to be the whole idea behind this fragrance because that's just what it smells like the most prominent notes in this one are eucalyptus bergamot grapefruit orange blossom and cedarwood and of course i suspect that the soapiness that we're getting is definitely from the orange blossom now the con to this fragrance for me is that it is super strong so the first time i wore this one i did not know that about this fragrance and i may have over applied i would say like three sprays for me was over applying and it straight up gave me a headache but it was so strong and it lasted me for the whole day day so yes i was a little traumatized about that but now i'm over the trauma and now i'm back to enjoying this beautiful summery clean fragrance that's just perfect for everyday wear so coming up next is actually a celebrity scent that i myself slept on for so many years and i'm not sure why this one is from jessica simpson and it's called vintage bloom let me know if you've ever tried this because i also noticed that this fragrance is one of those fragrances that just doesn't get any love because, you know, it's not overly sweet, it's not overly gourmand, you know, those are the, the more popular kind of fragrances that we experience from celebrity because it's kind of what young people like and I think ultimately that's who they're trying to attract. So it's most definitely a sweet floral kind of scent. It opens up with lemon and in the heart we have raspberry and peony and in the base we have musk and sandalwood. This is more floral based but of course around the edges it's very sweet but not sweet to the point where it's cloying or annoying. The sweetness actually just gives it this beautiful feminine scent. It's like peony being caressed by raspberry and of course you have the tinge of lemon that gives it a little bit of brightness and of course it dries down very musky coming up next is another beautiful fragrance that i think is perfect for everyday wear especially now that it is warm outside and of course you guys have seen me talk about this one but this is an actual favorite of mine and this is lovely share by sarah jessica Parker. This is another celebrity scent that actually does not smell like 
a celebrity scent. And I think we have to take advantage of these kind of celebrity scents where they're not trying to appeal to the masses. They're just releasing these beautiful feminine fragrance. And I think we have to show them more love so they could know what it is that we're looking for. Because I don't know about you, I love sweet fragrances, I love gourmand fragrances, but I especially love a nice, mature, smelling, beautiful scent. And this is exactly what it is. So I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the original lovely scent. This sheer version smells very similar to that. It's just a little bit more sheer as the name suggests. It's just lighter. So it opens up a little bit more citrusy but the citrus to be honest doesn't stick around for too long. It does give the essence of citruses but it just doesn't smell citrusy. Like I wouldn't smell this fragrance and think citrusy. Because the dominant feel of this fragrance is definitely floral. So it's very heavy on the gardenia. And of course, we have the smooth, creamy woods in this scent. It is so gorgeous. And this is just one that you have to try. Also on the inexpensive side, I love this scent. Coming up next is from the House of Burberry. This is a fragrance that I absolutely love. This has my name written all over it. I love this kind of fragrance. And I'm talking about Brit Share. To me, this is just the ultimate everyday scent. It's just a beautiful, easygoing fragrance, something that you just put on and just go about your day and you smell so fresh and clean and feminine and girly for the whole day. It does give you that fresh out of the shower vibe, but it has a little bit of fruitiness to it that makes you know it's a perfume. So I love that about it. It smells so good to me. Uh, it has like a tinge of shampoo also which i love like i love anything that makes me smell as though i just washed my hair or just took a shower and this is exactly what that perfume does it makes you smell that way and i just love it there's not much to say about this fragrance if you want to smell fresh and clean if you want to smell like freshly washed hair smell like you just took a shower this is the fragrance that you'd reach for so coming up next is from the house of Jimmy Choo. This happens to be my favorite fragrance ever from the house of Jimmy Choo. All his other fragrances are good, but to me, this one happens to be the best. And this is simply the Eau de Toilette. I absolutely love this fragrance. It smells... Mm, so it just smells so good. It smells very bright and sparkling, a little spicy, very floral, very, very musky. It's on the musky side. I just love the smell of this one. And what I love about this is that it lasts all day. And it smells unique. Like, I've never smelled anything like this. And I believe that of all the fragrances that we have right here, it smells to me the most interesting this is the kind of fragrance that will pull in a lot of compliments and a lot of comments about your perfume so this opens up with pear ginger and green notes and in the heart we have rose and orchid and it dries down with cedarwood and woody notes this is one of those fragrances too where you get all the notes you get the sweetness from the pear you get the fizziness from the ginger you get the green notes and of course you get the cedar wood and the woody notes so those are the most prominent notes in this one and i think this is the kind of fragrance where any age group could wear it it's just kind of ageless to me coming up next is a fragrance that to me is definitely not ageless so this one is more on the mature side and i was so hesitant to put this one on the list because it's such an unsafe scent and i get kind of nervous when people say that they're gonna blind buy it because it's not a fragrance that you should blind buy and i'm talking about remure and this one is by lanvin so this fragrance guys if you've never watched that video where i featured this scent I already told you how I was introduced to this scent. Basically, I had a beautiful co-worker that used to wear this scent. And I used to admire the way she smells. She would come in to work every single day smelling like she took the longest shower ever. Like, she would smell so squeaky clean. And what would be so interesting is that she would smell that way for the whole day. It took me weeks before asking her what she was wearing but every single day she will come around me wearing this one i would just enjoy the way she smells this smells like like a pink floral soap it's the best way to describe it 
So the scariest part about this scent is actually the opening. I mean, I have no control over that. The opening is what it is, but I could tell you it is a little scary because it's very strong and it's all over the place. It's a little scratchy. It's not smooth. It needs time to get itself together before it dries on the skin. Once this evaporates on the skin, I mean, it transforms into this beautiful pink floral soapy scent. Very musky. A lot of people compare this one to Narciso Rodriguez for her and Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker. I mean, I get the subtle similarities, but I think they have a totally different vibe. And I don't want to suggest that it smells like those because those give off a more um, musky, smooth, creamy vibe to me. This one is more sharp and soapy and musky. And I think the other two that I mentioned are more creamy um, so they do give a different vibe, but this one is absolutely gorgeous. I think this is more for the mature woman. But um, of course, if you're a little bit younger and you appreciate that kind of smell, you could try this out. This is very powerful. It's very long lasting. I've had this one for, I mean, probably a year or more. And when I'm spraying this one, I only literally spray one spray. That's enough to take me throughout a whole day. It is very, very potent. But it's definitely one to try it's very inexpensive also but you know if you don't like it i don't want to hear about it all right like listen but if you could get past the opening and get to that dry down i'm telling you it would be worth it so coming up on this list is from the house of dkny and this one is called fresh blossom i think i think it's so old that i think the name is starting to scrub off but i think it's fresh blossom i remember purchasing this fragrance a couple of years ago because i was actually looking for an everyday scent i purchased this way before i collected all these fragrances but i had just gotten a new job and i wanted to buy a perfume that i could wear every day something that would smell just fresh and nice and just easy to wear easy going didn't want to have no complaints or anything like that so i went to macy's and this is the one that i actually chose it has this beautiful, clean, fresh, fruity, floral type of scent. It just smells so clean. It's very musky, but it smells very young. But this is another fragrance, man, that's just easy to wear, easy to throw on. If you want to smell fresh and clean for the whole day, this is a scent that you would actually wear. If you've never tried this scent, it's definitely worth trying. I think it's just a perfect everyday scent. The last fragrance on this list happens to be my favorite everyday scent. Usually this is what I pull for when I just don't know what to wear. So if I'm in a rush, open up my closet and I'm just confused, don't know what to wear. This is usually what I end up pulling for and it is Glow by JLo. I know a lot of people dislike this fragrance and God knows I don't know why. I think this is the kind of fragrance where if it works on your chemistry, you'll be very happy with it. And I'm very happy with this scent because it does work on my skin. So the one tip that I have for this scent is that because it's a skin scent, it smells way better. It performs better. It smells better on the skin. Whenever I put this one on like my clothes I don't enjoy it that much because I feel as though it just sits there it doesn't develop but when you put it on your skin and it evaporates on the skin and just become one with you it smells so amazing I mean we all have our preferences this just happened to be mine I just gave you nine other options you could choose from that but this one happens to be my favorite soapy scent it's a casual everyday type of scent it's not fancy it's not elegant I mean, it's not sexy. I mean, literally, when you want to smell like you just took a shower, this is exactly what you would wear. I mean, what I love about this scent too is just the way that it performs. It radiates and it lasts for the whole day. I mean, this is an order to a let, but I promise you, this wears like a, like an oil. Like, I'm not even going to say an EDP. This wears like an oil. It just lasts and lasts and lasts. I absolutely love this scent and this will forever be one of my favorite scent between this and izumiyaki those are like my two signatures okay guys that's it for me i enjoyed doing this video for you guys so much i know it's going to be helpful to a lot of you guys don't forget to check the description box for links and information in regards to this fragrance and just all the information that you need you know if you want to chat with me on instagram if you want to follow me all that good stuff everything that you need will be in the description box if you're new to this channel and you just happen to stumble up on this video don't forget to subscribe um this is literally all i do this is my favorite kind of video to do just to give you guys information on good deals 
Anyway, guys, don't forget to like, comment, do all that good stuff. Support your girl. You know what to do. All right? Bye.